Hello, I'm Joanne Van Tassel, your current Township Supervisor, and I've had the honor of serving you and the people in Orion Township for a little over a year now. I'm seeking re-election because I think there are things that we've started that we need to complete. But first, I want to talk about some of the accomplishments in the time I have been in office. When I took office in June of 2011, the adopted township budget called for a deficit of over $454,000. One of the things I did upon assuming office was saying, we're going out for sealed bids on practically everything that we purchase, not just on the high ticket items. And by carefully watching our pennies, we found out that the dollars took care of themselves. And instead of a deficit, at the end of the year, we ended up with a surplus of $1.3 million. That's because we paid attention to where our money was going. And by seeking bids, you get those companies who are bidding to realize they've got competition and their pencils get a little sharper and their numbers get a little better for the taxpayers. One of the other things that was accomplished last year was the completion of the Orion Center along with the Orion Neighborhood Television Studios. This is something that the community had looked forward to for a number of years. And a large part of the Orion Center was also the kitchen where we soon hope to be serving the uh, senior luncheon program, including Meals on Wheels. And we're working with OPC who supplies the meals to transfer the meals program from the current senior center on Church Street in the village to the new Orion Center and our kitchen here. In addition, I've been working with business people and developers who want to invest in the township. And right now, there are four different builders who are interested in coming in and doing residential development. Some of them, larger homes over in the Squirrel Road, Silver Bell area. Then there's another development on Silver Bell Road that is planned for upscale condominium development, similar to a development just to the east of there in Oakland Township. Then I have another developer who wants to come in on the Baldwin Road area and build single story residential units aimed primarily at empty nesters and uh, single people. And with all of this development, there's a need to keep after the Road Commission and work with them for road improvements. And we were able in this past year to get a very rough se section of Joslin Road uh, taken up and repaved so that we have a very smooth surface there. We are working with the Road Commission to solve a couple of other uh, problems, including the area underneath the bridge at Indian Lake Road and M24. On the business front, I'm working with existing companies here in Orion Township on something known as economic gardening. This is a proposal put forth by Governor Snyder where instead of spending dollars trying to attract businesses from outside the area, from other states, you work with the businesses that are already in the community, already providing jobs here, and you work with them to help them expand. There is a manufacturer in the M24 area south of Silver Bell who wants to more than double his space. And so I am working with them, providing information and helping other companies who maybe are not quite as far along in their plans as this company is. But one of the things that I am doing is hosting a luncheon meeting, bringing in an organization that has money to lend. 
along with representatives from the county business finance corporation that helps provide financing for developers and businesses and providing this information so that these businesses know that there is money available and the source and how to apply for it. One of the complaints I've heard from businesses is, you know, I've got the plans, I'm ready to go, I just can't get the financing, the b banks just won't lend. Well, I found a bank that will lend and I'm bringing that information to the attention of the business community. I will follow that up with another uh, luncheon meeting, this time dealing with hiring people. There are some businesses that I've talked with that say, you know, I've got openings, I just can't find qualified people. Well, there are organizations in this area, one who runs a program called Hire Qualified, where they will place the ad, take the applications, sort through them, narrow the list down to those that meet the company's requirements. This saves the company time and effort so that when they end up interviewing people for the job openings, they're interviewing only those who are qualified for the position and they're not spending time going through resumes of people who are looking but who may not meet the minimum qualifications. And then there's another organization that has funding to do job training. So for those companies that have employees and have openings there for people to be promoted into but need some training, then here is a program that is offered without charge to the businesses. And by doing this, hope to promote the business here in our area, open up more jobs for Orion residents, which is a key ingredient as we move forward. One of the joys I get out of being your supervisor is meeting people in different parts of the townships, listening to their concerns and working with them to address those concerns, which is maybe as simple as working to get a road graded, or maybe they want the road repaved, or they've got a noise concern, Whatever it is, I'm here to help work with the people to address their concerns. In the area of recreation, we have two major parks, Civic Center Park, which is our oldest park, and Friendship Park there at the corner of Clarkston and Baldwin Roads. And we provide um, a variety of services there, uh, including uh, ball fields and soccer fields for people of all ages and we've got the pavilion and things and people use that on a regular basis and we host a number of activities there including barn days and the big rig gig which the little kids like because they just love climbing over all that big equipment be it a, an earth mover, a front end loader, a fire truck, a police vehicle. Um, it's just something that the younger kids look forward to each year and it's just a delight to watch them climb over this and just be fascinated by this big equipment. But we also have an undeveloped resource there which is the trail system through our wooded area in the northeast corner of the park. And working with our um, grounds people, we have worked to improve the trail system there with the help of a couple of Eagle Scout projects. And this year we will be using the trail system as a fundraiser for the North, North Oakland Community Coalition. And we find it's a gr great use of township facilities to help other organizations raise funds for their important missions. And another venue that will be used for fundraising activities is the Wildwood amphitheater. Right now we use it for our summer concert series and that's been a big success and people thoroughly enjoy it. Uh, but now we will be using it, uh, one of the groups uh, who is, will be using it the week after Labor Day is a veterans organization who will be raising money to assist 
our veterans uh, and those with special needs. So there's a lot going on in your township. I love being involved with it. I love working with people and I would like to continue as your township supervisor. And again, I'm Joanne Van Tassel and I hope you all get out and vote on August 7th. Thank you very much.